The overview of the week for this Sunday is the book of Leviticus. This book is named after the tribe of Levi, which was the priestly tribe of Israel appointed to minister before the Lord in the tent of meeting, also known as the tabernacle. The book tells of the story of God instructing Moses in the ministry of the tabernacle, as well as matters concerning the priesthood, rituals, and sacrifices they were to offer. The theme of Leviticus is holiness before God, as he, through the priesthood and offerings, provided a way for penitent sinners to express their faith and love for him. These sacrifices, of course, ultimately meant to point ahead to the sacrifice of Christ on the cross for the remission of sin. When the hearts of the people were right before God, the Lord was pleased. However, later in Israel's history, when they forsook the commandments of God, he became displeased with their offerings because in a sense, it became like dead religion in that they were just going through the motions. But as long as they displayed holiness and kept their hearts right before God, he promised that he would dwell in the midst of them. Now, when it comes to New Testament Christians, sometimes we look at the book of Leviticus and ask questions like, uh, how is this relevant or how does it apply to us today? Well, here's the thing. Everything in the book of Leviticus is true. Everything in Leviticus is still true, but not everything applies. Much of the book describes the ceremonial aspect of God's law, which was fulfilled in Christ. So while not everything applies for us today, God's moral standard, and this is so important, God's moral standard and the call to live holy lives before God, that certainly does apply as well as the most well-known statement from the book of Leviticus in chapter 19, verse 18, which says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself.